have any other announcements except to remind everyone that we are not gonna use the chat. In fact, for this session, <clears throat> the chat is disabled. We have been talking about enabling the chat in the future, but nobody is going to be allowed to use it. If we can all remember that just so that we have it available, should we need to drop in some important information. So again, you know, be comfortable and just raise your hand if you have questions when Diane says she's ready to take them and Vishnu will call on you. So I'll turn it over to you, Diane, unless Vishnu, you have anything else to add? Uh, just a few housekeeping items. Uh, keep yourself on mute. And when you are ready to speak, you can unmute yourself. Uh, like Jane mentioned, please raise your hand. Uh, I would like to welcome everyone for joining to our day two with Diane. Uh, we are recording this session and I have turned the recording on now. And so we'll get started with Diane. Over to you with lunch. All right. All right. Thank you. So this is day two of Blind Shell. And just to review, to turn your Blind Shell on, you're going to hold down the slash above the three for about three seconds. You'll feel it vibrate. And then it takes about 27 seconds, 28 seconds for the little um, phone to start talking. So what I'm gonna talk about today are adding contacts because that's gonna be something that people are gonna want to do right away. Once they get their phone activated, they're going to want to use it. So we're gonna add the contact. So we're gonna, from the main menu, we're gonna use the lower bar to go down. Let me turn it on. Volume 9, Volume 10. Two contacts. So I'm just using the lower bar Message. to go down. Two of contacts. And then Three we're going to hit seven. the OK button, which is above the number one. Contacts list. One of six. So the first thing you're going to get to is the contacts list. And that's where you're going to find your contacts. Add new contact. The next two thing is six. add a contact. Single button dialing. Three of six. So that is once somebody is in the contacts list, you can assign a single button dial to them. So if that's easier for people, then you can do that. Um, if somebody say, you know, calls mom all the time, they can assign mom to number one. And then all you would do from the main menu is hold down the number one and it'll dial it. Import contacts from files. So that's Four it, importing six. them from an SD card backup contacts and backing file. them up. Five of six. So I'm going to go back contacts to set. contacts list, add new contact, add a Two contact. So you're going to hit OK above the number one. First name, one of nine. First thing that comes up is first name. So I'm going to open that by hitting OK. First name. So at this point, you could either use the keypad and type it in. So let's say I wanted to do um, somebody named Paul. So I'll do. Capital P. So I hit the seven one time. The A, A. is hitting the two one time. U is hitting the eight twice. T, U. And then L is hitting the five three times. J, K, L. So now we have Paul in there. So then I'll just hit OK. First name, Paul, one of nine. And then I want to go down to the next thing. Surname, two of nine. OK, so I'll hit OK to open that. Surname. So whenever you hear that little click, click, that means the, a text box has opened. So I can also dis dictate. So let me dictate a last name here. Williams. Williams. Okay, because it said what I wanted, I'm going to hit OK. Surname, Williams, two of nine. And then I'm going to go down. Mobile. And I'm going to hit OK on that, on mobile. Mobile. So when you're putting a contact in, you cannot dictate the phone number. You have to type it in. So I'll just type a number here. Two, one, five, eight, four, six, two, five, four, one. And then hit OK. Mobile. And I really have no idea whose phone number that is. Nine. So, <laughs> you want to call? Work. 
go Fine for it. Nine. So I could put a home number in there. I could put a work number in there. Another. Or if Six there's another nine. number that I, I want to put in there for Paul, I could do that. And I'm just email address using the lower bar. Nine. If I wanted to put his email address in there, I could do that as well. Postal address. His home Eight address. Save contact. Nine save. Nine. This is the important one. Make sure you hit OK on save. Contact saved. Add new contact. Two of save. So then it takes you to add another contact if you wanted to. So now I'm going to go up to our contacts list. Contacts list. One of six. And I'm going to hit OK. 411 and more. And I'm going to use the lower bar. So. Bobby. Cindy. Through customer care. Four of ten. Diane. Five of ten. Joe. Six of ten. Sam. Seven of ten. Voicemail. Eight of ten. Paul Williams. Nine of ten. And there we find Paul. So I'm going to hit OK on Paul. Dial. One of six. So from here, I could call him. Write SMS. I could Two send him a text message. Edit contact. I could Three edit his contact, say he changes his phone number. I could go in and edit that. Assign ringtone. Four of I six. could assign him a specific ringtone. So let's hit OK on that. How underscore you underscore remind underscore me so underscore B6 it's going to give the list selected of, 56 of ringtones. So I'm just going to use the lower bar to go selected. through 57 of 109. some different Insert ringtones. Not selected. Puma not selected. Loopy Lounge not selected. So we'll give Paul Loopy Lounge. And I'm going to hit OK on it. So now let me back out. So now Nine Paul has that ringtone assigned to him. Search. 10 of 10. Whoop, let me go back up Paul to Paul. Williams. So I'll hit OK. Dial. So again, I can dial him, SMS. send him a text Two message, edit, contact. edit his contact, assign, ringtone. assign the ringtone, six. which we did. Send contact as business card. If I needed to Five send his six. information to somebody else, I could do that. Delete contact. Or I six could delete six. his contact. And I'm actually going to delete it because he's a made up person. Do you want to delete this contact? Yep. One deleted. Search. Nine so of nine. if you're working with somebody who may be um, not really kind of techy, and you may want to delete the 411 um, and Bobby, the customer Cindy, care from their list, nine. just so that they don't get confused. So I'm going to back out. Contacts list, one of six. So that is how to add a contact. So I'm going to back out. Contacts, three of seven. And go into, um, I'm going to go into applications, applications. now. Because this is seven. the big meaty part of the phone. So we're going to hit OK. Internet browser, one of 13. So this is internet browser. So I'm going to hit OK to open it. Insert URL or search. One of six. So at this point is where I could either enter a, well, let me open it. Insert URL I heard or the search. click. So that means a text box open. So I could either use the keypad, type something in, or I could use the dictate button. So I'll do a search for... Gingerbread cookie recipe. Gingerbread cookie recipe. So then I'm going to hit OK because it's what I wanted. Searching for term gingerbread cookie recipe. Loading page. Gingerbread cookie recipe. Google search. So you're going to find the same stuff on the top of every Google page. Text you're just gingerbread using the lower recipe. bar to go down. Times. Push button. All. Videos. Images. So all those things shopping. are going to be on the top of every Facts. page. News. Until Books. we get to. Push button search. My favorite gingerbread cookies. Sally's Baking Addiction. Sally's Baking Addiction dot com. Cookie. So as I'm going down. Gingerbread whenever you hear. I call it a Sally's Tinkerbell little noise. Com. Whenever you hear that little noise. Rating. That tells you. 
it's a graphic rated it's a link that you can open 259 4 hours 30 minutes December 1st 20 so I'm just going down through the the Google search page ingredients 3 and 1 half cups 400 so all those little cookie Tinkerbells, those are links you can open. So you would just hit OK on those. So now I can hit the back button, which is the slash above the three. Browse page, one of 12. And from here, I could use the lower bar to go down. Navigation, two of 12. So if I hit navigation, that will give me a back button. So I could go back to that or back a page. Page details. Page Three details. Insert URL or search. If I wanted to do another 12. search. Save the favorite apps. Five of 12. Bookmarks. But bookmarks Six is the 12. one that I'm looking for because I want to save it to a bookmark. So I'm going to hit OK. There we go. List bookmarks. One of two. I'm going to go down. Save bookmarks. To save and hit OK. Recipe. Google. Bookmark gingerbread cookie recipe. Google search saved. Bookmarks. So now if I wanted Six to get to that quicker, I'm going to back really out of it. Oops, sorry. Do you really want to internet browser? So there's my internet browser. I hit OK. Insert URL or search. One of six. So I could either put in a new search or I'm going to use the lower bar and go down. Bookmarks. Two of six. And there's my bookmarks. I'll hit OK. List. Bookmarks. List. Assistive technology usage survey for the blind and visual. Google image results. The best chocolate chip cookie re understand kinetic energy practice. Welcome to listening with Fred. Chocolate chip cookie re dog. Google's gingerbread cookie recipe. And there it is. Google search. HTTPS colon. So I would just hit OK on that. So now I'm going to back out. List bookmarks. One of one. And I'm going to back out again. Bookmarks. Two of six. Internet browser. One of 13. So now I'm back in my list of applications. And if I go down, tools. I'm going to hit OK 13. on tools. Alarm. One of 14. So that is the alarm. And the one thing when you set an alarm with the blind shell, it uses the 24 hour time. So remember that because you don't have to select AM or PM. You would just use, like, if you want to get up at 6 a.m., it would be 0600. Or if you want to get up at 1 p.m., it would be 1300. Um, calculator. Calculator. You would hit OK, and you would open up the Zero. calculator. So I'll back out. I, I'm just going to quickly go through these because this could, I mean, just going through all of our applications could use up everybody's session until the end of December. So I don't want to be a little piggy there. So I, <laughs> I'm restricted to my hour. So I'm just going to go through these quickly so that you get an idea of what all is here. Calendar, three of 14. Calendar. Checklist, four of 14. So a checklist will allow somebody to make a list and then check them off as they do them. So if they want to put their grocery list there, they can do that. And a um, currency converter, currency converter will convert, say you were going to Mexico and you want to know how many pesos you could get with your dollar. You could check that. File manager. Six of file 14. manager will allow you to move files from your internal storage to your SD card, also from your computer to your phone. Flashlight, seven of 14. So the flashlight, um, Think about the flashlight. I'll turn it on. Flashlight on. It'll click to let you know that your flashlight is on. So you don't accidentally leave it on and waste your battery. So I'll back out. Flashlight, 7 of 14. Minute timer. So that's a minute timer. Notes, nine of so 14. notes is a way that you can leave yourself a note. You can either use the keypad and type it in or that dictate button. The note will come back in a computerized voice. It'll come back in your blind shell voice. Stopwatch. We have a stopwatch. Translator. Translator will allow you to translate from English to another language and or vice versa. Unit converter. That's if 14. you want to do, um, you know, 
centimeters to inches. You could do that. Voice recorder, 13 of 14. So the voice reco recorder allows you to record in your own voice. So if you prefer to use the voice recorder to take a note, you could do that. And it's gonna be in your own voice. You can also record a meeting. You can also record a phone call. Weather. And then there's 14. the weather. So I'm gonna back out. Tools, two of 13. Communication, three of Communication, 13. I'll open that one. Email, one of six. So you can have multiple email accounts on the blind shell. Facebook Messenger, two of six. So we have Facebook Messenger. Skype Lite, Skype. three of Telegram. Telegram, of um, it's another way of texting, but the other person also has to have Telegram. It's not used much. WhatsApp, five of six. WhatsApp. Zoom video conference. And we have Zoom. Six of six. So I'll back out. Communication, three of 13. Media. Go one into media. Audible. One of 16. So if somebody has an Audible account, then they can just log in. BBC Sounds. BBC Radio Sounds. That's if you 16. like the British TV and comedy and music and podcasts. You'll find all that there. And if you're saying, my phone doesn't have all that. Well, the reason is because when we send somebody a phone, we do not want to overwhelm them. So we want to let them customize it. And I'll show you where you're going to find all these applications that you can download as well. Camera, three of six. So the camera, uh, also like the flashlight, will click to let the person know that their camera is on. It'll also tell you when there's a face in focus. Document reader, four of 16. The document reader will allow you to save an attachment from an email. Say you're going to a convention and you want to keep the agenda handy. You could save it into the document reader and then just go into your document reader and read it that way. Um, let me open that. List documents, one of three. So I will open that. All documents, one of three. Beholder, docx. Blind Shell Classic 2 User Guide Text, DocX, 2 of 7. So I have the user guide in here. Um, description of button. I wanted to see if one feature that I know two. will work in here. So you can use the lower bar blind shell classic and read two through it. A description of buttons on Let's blind see. shell classic. The blind shell classic or if you hit three sections, the screen, the navigation, the number button, eight. The It'll read the entire document, the so you don't have to use the layout. lower bar. So let me back out of that. Screen and touching it will not act. Description of buttons on blind shell classic two. So I'll back out. X. Three of all documents. Back One out again. Three. List document. Document reader. Okay. Four of six. So that hitting the eight will also work if you're on a web page and you just want to hear the entire web page, you can hit the number eight as well, and that'll read that. FM radio. So there's an Five FM radio. 16. That's the only thing you need to wear headphones for because they act as the antenna. Images. Six Images 16. are your pictures. Internet radio. Seven Internet radio, you can listen to radio stations from all over the world. Music player. Eight of 16. Music player is if somebody has an SD card and they have a playlist on there or an audio described movie on their SD card, then they can access it through the music player. Podcast player. Nine of 16. Our podcast player is so simple to use. People who have never used or, or never even heard of the word podcast before are enjoying all kinds of stuff. Episodes. So... Subscribe I'm just going to use the lower to bar. Add podcasts. Going to go to one add podcast. Popular in your country. One of four. So that's going to give you the top 100 podcasts of your country. It's a great way for people to get introduced to what podcasts are. Choose a country. Two so you four. can choose a country if you want. Search. But Three I just go four. to search. Search. And then from here, I will do a podcast about, um, again, I can type it or I can dictate growing roses. 
Growing roses. All right, so I'm going to hit OK. Loading. Growing with Lena Rose. Introduction. One of eight. You don't know who Lena is. Where but... roses grow. Rooted reflections. Growing with Lena Rose. Grow to CEO with Rose Radford. The rose grows. Five of, as the garden grows. Six of eight. So I'm just using the lower bar to go through them. And then if there's one I want to open, I can do that by hitting the OK button. And then I can add it to um, a subscription, and then I don't have to do the search. But I'm going to back out. Search. Three of four. Add podcast. Podcast player. And I'm going to continue 16. down the list. Zero. Ten of six. Zero is a paid subscription that people like, that they can get audio described movies or radio reading services or magazines. Audiobooks are on there as well. Shazam. Song recognition. Shazam oh, is song recognition. So if somebody wanted to know what a song was, um, let me see really quick if I can find. So all I would do is hit OK when I'm on Shazam. Shazam. Navigate and I'm going to go down app. till I hear the word Shazam. Navigate to the chart Shazam. And I'm going to hit OK. Shazam. Cancel identifying song. And it's listening. Shazam. List my fly away by Lenny Kravitz. So now it would tell you what song it is. So we'll say goodbye to Lenny and we'll back out. Shazam. And we're going to go down. Search. Oops, sorry. Back out. Shazam, song recognition, media. Sorry, more that out one too many. Audible. All right, let me go. Cam Shazam. Images, internet, music, like podcast, zero. Shazam, okay. Spotify. So Spotify, um, the Spotify that's on here is for a premium account. So if you have a premium account with Spotify, you would just use your login information and get in. Talking newspaper. Talking newspapers will have newspapers read to you from all over the world. That's it's pretty interesting. Video camera. 14. So it 16. does have a video camera, so you can take video. Video player. And then you can play those videos 16. back. YouTube. And then our YouTube. Again, our YouTube is I, I always say it's simple, but it's not a simplified version. It's a whole version of YouTube. But it's laid out search. nicely. One of five. So if somebody wanted to search a search video, a video, One of two. hit OK. Search. And again, you could type or dictate. So I'll say how to build a doghouse. How to build a doghouse. So then I'm just going to hit the OK button. Loading. How to build a doghouse. Lowe's home improvement. One of 21. So, so I wanted to, to listen to that. I'll hit OK. Resume playback. One of eight. And I'll go down. Play from the beginning. Two of eight. Hit OK. Loading. Hey, everybody. I'm Burris. Today and there it is. Modern take on the traditional dog house. So I'll we'll back out. Search related video. How to build a dog house. Lowe's home improvement. One of 21. Search video. Search. One of five. YouTube. And now I'm back into my list. So what I think is so amazing, again, people who have never, they've heard of YouTube. They would always say, oh, you know, all my friends talk about YouTube, but I can never get to it. I don't understand it. Now they are enjoying the same YouTube stuff that their sighted friends are doing. So we're going to back out of media. Four of 13 books. Five and we're going to go into books and we're going to hit OK. Bard Mobile. One of four. So we do have Bard on here. So if somebody has a Bard Mobile account, you put in your username, which is pretty much your email address and your password, and then you can access your books. You can download books right onto your blind shell. You could get to all your previously downloaded books as well. We also have LibriVox, which is a public domain reading service. So that's where you're going to find a lot of the classics, parts of the Bible, any 
if it's public domain, you can search for it on LibriVox and see if they have it. So I'll back out of books. books. Games. Six Games, I'll go into those. Chess. One of eight. So we have chess. Dice roller. Two dice eight. roller, which is a great thing to have if you have a bunch of blind people who want to play a game of dice and nobody can see them. Now you just use your dice roller. Hangman. Three we have hangman. Mau Mau. Mau Mau is a card game. Memory game. Five the memory eight. game, although it seems simple, it, it could be a lot of fun. Simon. Simon is the game that we all know, um, but it uses sound instead of colors. Tic Tac Toe. Tic Tac Seven Toe. Wumpus. And Wumpus is a game where you get to kill cavemen by shooting them with arrows, which seems to be a favorite among the senior population. So I'm going to back out. Games. Six of Vision Aids. So Vision Aids, we'll open that one. Ira Explorer. One of 11. So if you have an Ira account, you could log in with your phone number. And then um, you'll get a code that you would have to enter. If you have an issue with that, Ira can help you. Be my eyes. Be my eyes. Again, you would log in with your email and a and your password, or you can create an IRA account and a be my eyes right on the phone. Beepers. Three of Beepers are they work like air tags and tiles. Those are a separate purchase if somebody wants to buy those. Color indicator. Four of eleven. So it, it has a color identifier, and I always caution people that works as well as any app-based color identifier. Just if you're not sure, check with a sighted person or be my eyes or an IRA just to make sure that the color is what you think it is. If you use the color ID and it um, tells you the color consistently, then you could pretty much be sure that it's the correct color. Google Lookout. Five so I love Google Lookout. So Google Lookout has a couple different components. So let me open that because this will be a something Thing that a lot of people will want. Look at help. So let me grab sign in. First. Turn to resets. Explore. Beta. Okay, so One the first five. component is explore. So I'm going to hit explore. okay. Explore beta. So what explore does is if I move the Netflix. camera around the room, it's going to tell me what it sees. Hopefully. You know why? Because I'm holding the phone backwards. I was aiming it at me. <laughs> there we go. Corded phone. Water bottle. Window. So it's just going to tell us what it sees. Laptop. Laptop. Text. Be favorites. So if it. Text. Capsule tab shall ball. If it finds Mobile text, phone. it'll read it. Computer keyboard with text. Capsule. So I'm going to go down. Mobile phone with text. A Patterson hose enabled cost decoctioning. Currency. Five of okay. five. Docu text. Three of five. Food so the labels. second thing Two is food labels. So if you have a, a item, Computer a package, keyboard. it will um, identify that. Text. Text is the text mode. And that's if you want to like, text. read Maybe. That's Back. if you want to Back. say scan your mail or somebody hands you, I'll do a business card here. And I'm just gonna hold it, the camera, probably about 10 inches away. AWS three, eight, Lloyd Al. Oh, I'm sorry, it's reading two things at one time because it was in front of something funny. AWS 2023, new, new, ML items, favorites and boss, send items, do apps. Let me back right. out because it was re Google trying to read my card 11. and my keyboard at the same time. Help. So let me go Sign down to text. Turn camera resets. Explore food label text. There we go. Selected. Three of five. Diane Ducharme, senior program manager. Diane at blinchalusa.com telephone 833-972-2020-419-196. So it's reading the text. And it does a pretty good job with it. You can use it to read packages as well. And the la and it also does a document reader, which will allow somebody to read an entire document. 
And then the last thing is currency. So this is important for a lot of people. I have a lot of customers who will just hand a cab driver just a lot of bills and say, oh, you know, I'm sure they'll give me the correct change. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But let's make sure of that. So let's teach people how to use your currency reader. And let's see, I'm looking, see if I got any cold hard cash here. Okay. So I found some. So we're going to see what we got here. All right. So let's get you. One okay. dollar. So all I did was hold the camera above the bills. One dollar. And it reads it instantly. So this is a very good app that you should $1. Make sure that people have on their phone just because they can now independently read their mail, read a package, read cooking instructions, and also identify their currency. So I'm going to back out. Google Lookout, 5 of 11. GPS points. So Six GPS points, it will... Um, I personally... I'm not a big fan of it. Some people love it. You have to set your point where you're at, set your point where you're going, and then it'll give you step by not, not I'm sorry, not step by step compass directions on how to get from one point to the other. Light sensor. The Seven light sensor the tells you if the lights are on or off. Localization. Localization gives you the address where you are now. Magnifying glass. Nine it's got 11. a pretty good magnifying glass, goes from about a 3x to an 8x. NFC object tagging. Those NFC. are our little tags. Three of them are in your box that you can use to label stuff. Way around. Scan and it also tag. has way around tags. So if somebody is already using way around tags, then they can read them with their blind shell. And those are tags that you would use to identify your clothing or really anything. They have so many different versions of tags. You can sew them in, you can pin them in, you can rubber band them. So it all depends what the person likes. So we'll back out. Vision aids, seven of third hobby. Hobbies, quickly, that's a guitar tuner and a metronome. Travel, nine of third. Travel is an app called Lazarillo. So it can be used to plan a route if you need to um, go to a specific place or there's categories. Health and Fit. Health and Fit is a step counter. So you would just put in some basic information like your height, your weight, your age, and the estimated stride. And then um, it can calculate your steps. Now, when you first start that app, everything needs to be done in the metric system. So just throw anything in there. It doesn't matter because then once you're in, you could go into settings and change it to Imperial and then just edit everything. Online, 11 of 13. So online is Alexa. So let's, if somebody has an Amazon account, they can use their Amazon information to log into Alexa and probably everybody. Amazon so Alexa. let's try it. One of one. See if it's going to. Amazon Alexa. Tap or say Alexa. Tap or say. Alexa, Alexa what time is it? Alexa. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 3.38 p.m. Amazon Alexa. Alexa, Alexa. shuffle my play. Oh, sorry. Alexa, shuffle Diane's playlist. Shuffling your playlist, Diane's playlist, on Amazon Music. Amazon Alexa. So there's my phone. So I'll back out. And sometimes you have to press the back button a couple times for Alexa to shut up. So that's what I had to do. And it caused me to get out of where I was in. So let me just go back to it. So the Alexa that you put on your phone will still allow me to be at my office, but change my thermostat or turn on my Christmas lights or whatever I have connected as an Amazon device, I can 
I can operate from this Alexa. Shopping. 12 of Shopping 15. is Amazon. App catalog. An app catalog. Packages. This is where you're going to find all these goodies. So I'll hit OK. Browse catalog. One of four. So you're going to hit OK on browse. Recommended packages. You're going to hit OK four. on recommended. All categories. One of ten. And then you're going to hit OK on all. And then you're going to see all the apps that are available. Marks. One of 25. So if they're already on your phone, if you've already downloaded them, then they're not going to be in this list. Since I have a lot of them downloaded, um, Leo Player, two of 20 ARCs. One I'll just pick this one. So ARCs is a separate headset. They just wanted to partner with us. I don't really recommend it at this point until we get a little bit more development with it. But let's just pretend I wanted to download this one. So I'm going to hit OK. Install package, one of three. Yes, I want to install it, so I'm going to hit OK. Downloading. So it's going to download it, it's going to install it, and then it's going to put it in the correct downloading. folder. So ARX would go in Vision Aids. 10% download. But if I was doing Be My Eyes, Ira, those would go in Vision Aids. If I was doing the download. podcast player, it would go in media. 20% downloaded. So once you, package. One let me box, back out. One of 25, all category, recommended browse catalog, app catalog. 13 so once you have the person using the phone, as a phone, getting their contacts in, go through the app catalog with them and see what they want. So if you don't know what a particular app is, and when you click on it, you could go down to get the description of it. And just to warn you, not all of them are good in the U.S. Because the phone is sold all over the world. There's going to be stuff from Australia and, and South Africa. And, um, you know, a lot of things from the Czech Republic. So just make sure you go through and, and get the description of what the application is. So I'll back out. Applications. Four of seven. Next thing down there is settings. using the lower Five bar is settings. Um, let's see. Okay. So I'll quickly go through the settings. Uh, again, there's a lot of ways people can customize this phone. Sounds. One of 11. So if you go into sounds. Profiles. One of eight. Profile is how you could turn on do not disturb at night. It's also how you can choose whether you want it to ring and vibrate. It's what um, Tiffany brought up at the end of last time, how to, how to put it in airplane mode, how to mute it. You'll find all that in profile. Volume, two of eight. So that will change the volume of the ringer. So if somebody says, oh, this ringer is way too loud or I can't hear it, you could adjust it there. Voice output, four of eight. So we'll go into voice output. Speech rate. You could change four. the spe speech rate. If you think that this is too slow or too fast, you can change that there. Voice variant, two of four. Voice variant, this is how you can change voice five selected. the voice. Three. So if somebody doesn't like the male voice, they can go. Voice three not selected, voice two not selected. Voice two selected. And they can change the voice. By, and, and you can click on each one and it'll tell you what it sounds voice like. Voice three not selected. Voice three selected. Voice four not selected. Voice four selected. Voice five not voice five selected. So I'll leave them on five. Okay, so I'll just back out. Voice variant two of four. Language detection three of four. So that will just leave. Voice output muted. Um, four of four. This one voice output muting you want to stay away from. Because I'll get a call that say, I was just playing around with my phone and I hit on this voice output muting. Well, that turns your speech off permanently. Um, there is a way to turn it back on, but it's kind of a roundabout way to doing it. Uh, so, and it doesn't always work with putting in a code and you have to hold this button down and that button down. I just tell people don't even go there. Voice output, four of eight, feedback. Five so feedback, where you're hearing this um, five of eight, 
stuff, you can turn that off. If somebody doesn't like those orientation points, you can turn it off. Announcements. If they don't like feedback. these clickies, they can Find turn that eight. off as well. Announcements. Six of eight. So announcements, because this phone is beta, the newest system update is going to have this there. So I'll open that. Incoming call caller announcement. So six. that's where you can turn on caller ID, which you can now on your version. It's just, it's not under the heading of announcements. It's just um, that will be there under voice output. Locked keyboard announcement, two of six. So you can lock the keyboard. If you're afraid of, you know, having it in your pocket or your purse by holding down the star key, that'll lock and unlock your keypad. Menu position indication. That's if you don't six. like these. You know, four of seven, two of sixes. Battery level announcement on the main screen. Four of six. Some people like that to know as soon as they hit that back button and they hear the time, they're also going to hear their battery level. Some people don't. Again, you can customize it. Announce when battery is running out of power. So Five that's something that's new and it will be coming. So when your battery is 100% charged, you'll get a notification. Notify when battery is fully charged. And that's six that. Of six. So I'm going to back out. Announcements. Six notification reminder. Seven of eight. So if you don't respond to a notification, if you don't check it, you'll get this little ping like every 20 minutes, which I find very annoying. So I turn my no notification reminder off. Automatic speakerphone. Eight of eight. If somebody uses speakerphone a lot, you can turn that on so whenever they put the phone flat, it'll automatically go to speakerphone. Otherwise, when you're on a phone call, an active call, you could hit the OK button, and then you can have the option to turn on the speakerphone. So I'll back out. Sounds. One of 11 keyboard. Two of 11. So with keyboard, you could change, do you want the... Um, do you want the letter you're deleting announced or do you want the one that's left there announced so people can customize that? Display, three of 11. If somebody has enough sight that they can see the key, that I'm sorry, see the screen, they can change the contrast and the font size. Networks, four of 11. Networks is where you'll find Bluetooth, um, Wi-Fi, uh, your mobile data, stuff like that will be under networks. Favorite applications. Five if you wanted to, you can add favorite applications that you don't have to go digging through all these menus. The way you would do get to them is that same dictate button. When you want to dictate, you hold it down. When you want to get to your favorites, you just tap it. Ira Explorer, one of six. Audible, be my eye. So you just use Three the lower six. bar and go through them. Lord mobile. Four of Amazon shopping, add favorite application. And that's how six you can add six. a favorite one as well. To me, it's just as easy to hit, hold down that little dictate thing and say, open Ira. Favorite applications, screen reader, six of So 11. that basically is that it is SD the screen card reader. Format, if somebody puts 11. an SD card in there, you have to go to this and format it on the blind shell. Date. Time and time zone. That's if you Eight need to 11. change anything. Language. Nine of 11. So it has 19 different languages built into it. So if English isn't somebody's preferred language, they can change it. Also, if you select OK on English, you'll get a bunch of different Englishes. So you could choose the Australian guy, the British guy, the Irish uh, lady. You know, you can play around with those. So you can really customize the voice. System update. This 11. is where you will find a system update. You'll usually get a notification saying that there's a system update, which you always want to do simply because it can take care of some under the hood bugs. So you always want to make sure if you get a notification about a system update to do it. About phone. 11 and about 11. phone will tell you like the phone's IMEI number and just the, the specs of the phone. So I'll back out. Settings. Five of seven. Manual. So it does have a manual built into the phone if you hit OK. Blind Shell Classic 2 User Guide. 1 of 8. Getting started. So if you wanted to do getting started. Contents. 1 of 6. And then you could choose it. It's it's broken up into little sections. Just hit OK on that. Blind Shell Classic 2 Phone. 1 of 8. 2. Battery. A flat so this is telling you what's in 
the box. Three earphones on one end of the earphones. There is a 3.5 mm connector jack the other so end. So I'm going to back out. Package contents. Getting started. Manual. Six of seven. And then the last thing is turn off the turn phone. Off the phone. So if you seven. wanted to do that, you're going to hit OK there. So I know that was a very quick rundown, but I wanted to make sure that I got all of that in. Like I said, uh, the, you could really spend a lot of time on learning how to use all of these. The probably what seems a little complicated for people is when, when they first get the phone is getting all that information in there, getting their email in there, getting their BARD in there, getting their Be My Eyes in there because they're like, I don't remember my password and all this other stuff. Once you have it all set up, it is so streamlined to use. It's just menu driven with the bars, the OK button and the back button. So when you start to work with somebody, make sure that they have their usernames, their passwords. It's going to make things a lot easier for you. So that was, a, like I said, an extremely quick rundown of all of the features. So if there's any questions, we can take those. Hello, Diane. Hi. Hi, it's Ansel. Um, Hi, Ansel. I have a question for you. Um, uh -huh. You mentioned uh, there's an option that you select, or if you select it, it turns off the speech. Uh, can you tell me what that is again? Yes. So you're going to go into settings. Manual, settings. And Line you're going to hit seven. OK. Sounds. One and you're going to get into voice keyboard. output. Display, networks. Oh, I'm sorry, you're going to go sounds. Go into One sounds. Profiles. Go down to voice Audio. output. Melodies. Voice output. Speech rate. One of four. Voice ver language. Voice output muting. And there it is. Four voice four. output muting. So oh, it, just, oh, it somebody, says voice output muted. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if somebody likes the simplicity of the phone, but they're not visually impaired, they can turn the speech off, you know, and, and it just becomes a standard cell phone. Which and they have all these features that they can do on it. So it's a good, it's also a good phone for say the senior population or somebody who just likes the simplicity of it. Yeah. Um one one quick question. Is Uber um an option? So right now Uber is not an option. We've been working with Uber probably for a year and a half. They they don't play nice when it comes to accessibility. They have Four of our phones that their engineers are quote unquote working with, um, their response to us was, oh, we'll just have people use the 833 use Uber number and they could call for their ride, which, okay, it's fine, but it stops at 10 p.m. So if you're going out past 10 p.m., <laughs> you're not going to be able to use it. Now, one thing that I do is I go into the internet browser and I go to m.uber.com. And I've logged in that way and I have used it successfully many times to request rides and still get my text messages and all that other stuff from Uber. So if somebody is a little savvy, you can definitely go to m.uber.com. Same thing we get asked about um, PayPal. So go into the browser and go to paypal.com, log in and you'll have your stuff there. Um, Instacart, the same thing. You can do it through the web browser. Now, we, you know, the what the phone is today is not necessarily what the phone is going to be next week. We're expanding all the time. We're adding new applications all the time. In fact, there's two pretty big ones that are going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So we, you know, we're not we're not a just status quo. We we continue to build upon it. All right. Thanks so much. Yeah, I you. have a question or comment. Like, yes, okay. we do have a couple of hands raised, and I'm going to call out each person in the sequence of their hand raised. Uh, so, Betsy Hines, you're next. Thanks. Hi, Diane. Um, Hi, I Betsy. have my Thank demo you. phone here, um, which does not have a SIM card in it, but I thought that mm -hmm. I could do everything except for make phone calls and text message with um, when I'm hooked up to Wi Fi. 
Yes. That's you true. Can. Okay. Yes. So then I'm having trouble hooking up to Wi-Fi, I guess. So I'm in networks. I go to Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. I go to uh-huh. network list and it's scanning networks. And then it shows my, yep. um, my network. And in parentheses, it says saved connected. But it's not allowing me to do anything that you were doing. So hit OK on your network. And then it says connect to network, which I did. Okay. And it says connecting to my network, please uh-huh. wait. And then it kind of goes back to the menu. Um, so I, is it, then it comes back and says network list. So did it not connect? It should have connected. What is it not allowing you to do? Uh, it wouldn't allow me to do anything. It wouldn't let me to access the internet. I tried to do updates because you have a lot of stuff that I don't have. Mm-hmm. Looks like my last update was in July. Hey, okay. Betsy and Diane, this is Jane interrupting you. I'm having the exact same problems on my, my phone as well. And I'm thinking that, Betsy, we have phones that are uh, probably a couple years old. But yeah, I can't get into updating either. Yeah, that's why I was thinking I needed to update. So I tried to update because you were ha- you have all kinds of stuff that I don't have. And I, yeah. But when I look at in messages, it looks like my last update was in July. Okay. So it could be, you know, without getting too personally into your thing, if it's Xfinity. Um, it is. Okay. Are you clicking on the word Xfinity? No, I'm not. That's not an option. It just says my, um, well, okay. actually I have Xfinity, but I have a, a neck gear, um, thing. So it, it shows my, my modem identification. All right. Why don't you go in and hit, hit okay on Wi-Fi. Okay. And then go down then to, um, can you dis- underscore three disable underscore it? Underscore guest. I was going to say, if Wi-Fi you could. Is connected to the network joint underscore 301 underscore guest. Okay. So now network back list. out. Two of three. Back out. That's not my phone talking. Do you realize oh. that? Oh. That's not my phone talking. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, you look like you were listening. <laughs> yeah, I was. So somebody's <laughs> connected to Wi Fi. Whoever just did that, congratulations to you. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I don't know. It's pretty much as simple as what that person just did. Finding their router, hitting OK. Um, it'll say connect to network. You hit OK. You put in your password. You hit OK. And then it'll connect. Yeah, never ask me for my password. But I will tell you that yeah. I know that I have been connected previously. You know, I just I don't know when the last I would time delete I tried it. Yeah, delete it and and try it again. So forget this network or whatever it says. Delete network. So it says disable network. Um, what what are the other well now options? it says enable net Wi Fi so it must it must have disabled it but it doesn't like okay. ask you are you sure you want to do that? Um, no, it doesn't ask you that. Okay, so now it says enable Wi Fi. So hit okay. Oh, now it says disable Wi Fi. Are you getting a network list? Well, I I can scroll down. If and you get would the turn your list. phone up, I could hear what's going on. Oh, that sorry. That would help. I, I don't have the volume up. Four, volume six, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, so yeah. now use the Let lower go bar. Back so to... Wi-Fi, one of three. Disable okay. Wi-Fi, one of three. Go down. List, two of three. Go down. Connect to hidden network. Three of three. All right, so go go down again. Disable Wi-Fi. One of three. Hit OK. Wi-Fi has been disabled. All right, let's go down to network list. Enable Wi-Fi. Hit OK. One of three. Hit OK. Enable one. Enable Wi-Fi. One of go four. down to network list. Enable Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Right. One networks. Four favorite applicant screen reader. Favorite network. Wi-Fi. Sorry. One this is three. why I had the volume turned down. Enable Wi-Fi. Okay. One of one. Good. Hit OK. Wi-Fi has been enabled. But it hasn't. Go down to network list. Network list. Scanning Hit network. Hit OK. N-E-T-G-E-A-R 21 5G. That's you. <laughs> One of seven. OK, so hit OK on it. 
Connect to network. One of three. Go down. Forget network. Two of Hit three. Hit OK. Forgotten. N-E-T-G-E-A-R-21. OK, so now try it again. Seven. I don't know if it's going to help, but it may. Network list. To, to redo it. Getting networks. Right, let me. N-E-T-G-E-A-R-21. Oh, okay. Ask me for a password. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we take the next question? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Betsy. Next question is Desmond Jackson. Hey. Um, Hello. So I just had a a question and, and maybe a, a suggestion suggestion for a feature. Um, so some of the apps are. Uh, like like with the Bard app, it seems very spatial, like like almost uh, as if it it's like their the native app for the that might be used on like an iPhone or, or an mm -hmm. Android, a typical Android. Is, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um. So I guess the um, suggestion I, I might make is. There might be a way in the future to have like so say you want to get quickly to like the play button um you can type in start typing play like with the keypad or, or yeah so short, okay yeah so that's been suggested the way that i tell people to get to it quicker is if you hold down the top bar it'll take you directly to the top. If you hold down the bottom, it takes you directly to the bottom. So when you're in BARD, hold down the bottom bar and then just go up four times and you'll be on play. I know it's it's a workaround and it's not a solution. So yeah, that is sure, suggested that's helpful. about making it. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Sure, thanks. All right, next hand we have Cindy Labon. Hey, Miss Diane. Hey, Cindy. I know I could ask you this, but I figured um, when I was going to ask you this earlier is that um, maybe other people want to know on the areas where you see the different things for the different countries, apps that are available, is there a way we can like um, put those out? Unfortunately, no, because they want to say the same thing about us when they're going through the app catalog. So, so that's kind of what I thought. Like, but I thought I'd ask because I'm sure yeah. somebody else wanted to know it also. Yeah. All right. Next, we have a question from Christina Nixon. Hi. Um, I'm not sure if I missed this. I know I saw the setting to turn off the voice output. Is there a like a hot key to turn it back on? There is not a hot key to turn it back on. It's um combination of putting in a code and um it, it's it's not simple, so I don't recommend it. Okay, so if you turn it off by mistake, then you'd need like a sighted person to turn it back you on. Don't need a sighted person to turn it on, but you need to know what the secret like code is. And that's something we're not allowed to give out unless somebody is in that situation. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. That was a good question. Thank you yeah. for that. Next, we have Tiffany Green. Yes, hi. Um, hi. Uh, one of my, um, I had a couple, let me see. Um, one of my biggest questions was when um, internet browsing, um, is there a way to like uh, go by different elements so that you don't have to go through the whole page? And another, um, I guess, caveat to that was when I went to a search page and wanted to log into something, um, Whenever I click login, I never got the fields to log in. So it's kind of a two part um, situation. So when you're on the internet, you can hit the, so if when you, you can hit the pound button and that'll tell you what each one, what number is. So like number one is default. Number three is controls. Number four is links. So if you're on a web page and you just want to go from link to link to link, you can hit number four and then use the lower bar and then it'll take you to all the different links. 
Oh, okay. Okay. And as far as so walking... that's, you know, there's just so much to it that I could never possibly, I mean, just the internet browser, I could spend an hour on. So <laughs> unfortunately, I just have to give you like the really quick overview on stuff. Right. That's, that's, that's great. And I saw in the catalog that there was a browser for the blind. I can't remember the name of it. Um, I just wanted to know what the difference was between that and the um, internet browser. So it's, yeah, I don't know anybody who uses it. I think it's like Toyvox or maybe something like that. Right, and like yeah, that. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother with it. Okay. Now, when you're on the internet browser and you go down to settings, you could choose a couple different ones if you don't want to use the Google. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Thanks. Wow. Look at that. We finished all the questions. Yay. Diane, you're going to be on a <laughs> roll. Um, <laughs> Diane, don't you have a Blanchell users group that meets every Monday, I think? We do, yes. So every Monday on ACB uh, community events page, we do Blind Shell 101, where people can call and ask all kinds of questions, just like we just did here. Or if a new app is out, I'll explain how to use it. So if you want to get involved with that, you can go to blindshellusa.com and register for it that way. Or if you want to, if you're already receiving the emails from community events every day, just on Mondays, one o'clock, you can get to it that way. Or you could send an email to community at acb.org and just say you want to subscribe to the community event. Thank you. That's great. And sure. And there's also two listservs if you wanted to get a part of that. They're not run by us. They're run by other people, but they're both blind shell related. So you could do blind shell two. So it's blind shell the number two, the plus sign subscribe at groups.io. And the other one is blind shell classic, the plus sign subscribe at groups.io. And all that would be on our web page under support center if you scroll down you'll see um listservs that you can join those listservs yeah this would be very helpful information uh jane i hope we can add that to our follow-up email uh, absolutely with yeah. the survey link mm -hmm. uh, so you know uh, people can continue joining the group and continue asking questions if you do have any questions at the later time, you know, I'm sure you can join the group and get those answered through Diane as well. Yep. And um, I don't see any more questions at this time. Jane, do you want to give a little quick update about our plan for next week? You're um, uh, Next week, we're on for Tuesday, and we will start with a mini vision two with Robert Felgar from Raz Mobility. So he'll be on Tuesday and Thursday with the mini vision. All right. So those of you who received the wonderful devices at our in-person event, uh, you want to have your mini vision devices ready for next week. Uh, and uh, we'll take a deeper dive and learn how to use those devices. Vishnu, this is Joanne. I couldn't raise my hand, but can I ask a quick question? Absolutely. Go ahead, Joanne. How are you? I'm just fabulous. And I want to thank you and Diane and Jane. This has been an amazing um, two sessions. So my question is, Diane, you were referencing how do you, what I was calling shortcuts in the keypad. You know, four can do this, depending oh. on the application you're in. I was looking in the manual. Is there a list somewhere where I can get what the numeric pad does, depending on the application? So the only application that is really affected by the number pad is the internet. Um, and email. So if you hit, if you tap the bound, pound button when you're in those, you can hear exactly. Like if you um, press one, it'll tell you what that one does. And two will tell you what that one does. Okay, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Uh, all right, with this, we'll wrap the session for today. I think I'll go ahead and stop our recording for today. And uh, 
We'll see you all next week on Tuesday at the same time, same place. Uh, thank you all for joining. Yeah. Thank you. And I'll be um sending out the email again with um Diane. If you could email me that information you gave about the um community. the list serves, yeah, yeah. the list serves, yeah. yes. And okay. When I I get that, then I'll send it to everyone plus the survey link for this session, and um we will be good to go and move on to Mini Vision too. Thank you all so all much. Right. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.